My name is Kevin Lamro. I also go by Kevin Lamb. It's kind of like an artist name. When I was younger, I did a bunch of art, uh, but nothing that was like super serious. Like I didn't take classes or anything like that. And then I sort of strayed away from it for a long time. And then it kind of organically started back up when I was a social worker and was just kind of like starting to take a lot of my work home with me and I needed some sort of like an outlet. I went to the store and got a bunch of cans of spray paint and some canvases and went home and started just kind of like throwing paint on canvas. It just sort of evolved from that. I found my way into like these art shows. I was like, oh wow, people kind of like my stuff and like they're buying it and then that kind of gave me confidence to continue to try new things. I originally started with just spray paint and I don't, I've always been like fascinated with graffiti and um, just like that street art culture. As time went on, like I started uh, making my own stencils and then after I was doing a bunch of stencils, I you know, was terrified to even pick up a paintbrush for a long time because I was like, that is not my world. Eventually I was able to like pick up a paintbrush and I was like, you know, I'll try it on a couple of different things. I'm willing to experiment with everything. Like I've done um, sets for plays, signs for uh, buildings. Somebody asked me to do a playground, like paint a playground, so I started to do that and was using, you know, only brushes and rollers and like very little spray paint. I, you know, started to do walls and people wanted me to, you know, paint on different, um, different surfaces, so like garage doors and uh, brick walls and inside and now I'm uh, working at a school so I paint in the cafeteria with like the art teacher. I, I love to do collaging too, scrapping from old newspapers or magazines and kind of mod podging that on there. There's nothing that I'm not willing to try to use. Eventually, I went back to school. I became an administrator. And I've been an uh, assistant principal for a couple of years now, and I, I love it, you know, and I've done classes with the kids at school, like as club activities. Um, I got uh, a troop of Girl Scouts, their uh, painting badge, uh, summer evenings in the park with the Narrows, uh, which has been really awesome to see them, you know, bringing in the community of Fall River and offering like a place for people to enjoy music and food and all these different activities that they can do. Just finding ways to, to show kids that like you don't have to be like this super realistic extra professional artist like you can do anything a lot of my stuff that i do um, has slowly started to become inspired by keith herring and one of his big messages was making art easily accessible to kids and to people in the community and like it shouldn't be this really prestigious thing that only a certain number of people have access to. Some of the paintings that I do now are inspired by the work that I do with kids and it'll have like inspirational quotes. It, it is really cool to find ways to incorporate working with kids in a professional sense but also being able to be fun and creative and you know expressive with them. Everything is art. But there's art everywhere. There's art in, in you know everything that you do and uh, don't be scared. Try something different.